Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Kati and today I'm going to show you my full cover collection. I asked my subscribers what they want me to tell about these covers and they voted for how do I like it and or would I buy it again and what I have used it for. Price ended up in the third place and I will make an other video where I will put my covers, I don't know why I promised that, I will put my covers <laughs> in order of price. This time I will go them through in order of type. But first I'm not counting my vinyl or any kind of plastic covers. So I have just here some examples of what kind of vinyl covers I have. So this is a Midori A5 and yes I still have my paper cut but you can hopefully appreciate little Mu. So I'm filming this the day after I filmed my previous video, so my finger is not totally healed yet. But Midori A5 vinyl cover and I have the B6 slim Midori covers, A6 vinyl covers from Midori and then of course I have these Hobonichi Weeks cover on covers and I have the Hobonichi A6 cover on covers but you will see those later. And then I have this one Chick Sparrow passport size cover and I just want to say about these vinyl covers that I think that these are great value for the money because you can decorate it however you want and this is usually the cheapest option and then I think you can get the cover that is most like you. So in some cases I wish I wouldn't have bought anything more expensive and I would just kept with the vinyl cover because you can change this. So here I these all have paper or this is a postcard, some washi and you could also put here stickers or whatever you want and I have to admit these are one of my most favorite covers. I don't have to worry about getting it dirty, I can always wipe it, I can always change the paper here and I just... these are good. I, I recommend these. These are great. And you don't have to worry about this fit because usually the cover is made for that exact planner and you can have a pen loop and they are great. They are great. I don't know why, why I don't just stick with those. Okay, so I'm not counting those in the 55. So let's start with discs because these were in the early days when I really started to get into expensive planners, let's put it that way, and covers and everything. So this is an, okay, now an explanation. I didn't count in this disc slash happy planner section those covers that came with the planner or with the notebook. These are covers that I have bought separately or made. So this is a Happy Planner Big Plans cover and these are so old I don't have any specs and probably you can't buy these anymore but I'm, not, I'm just showing what I have. So I bought this, then I bought, this was a tree pack, so you have seen this in my full lineup videos because this is my favorite. This was in a tree pack with these, so this Plan a Happy Life which looks like this. And then it came with this gratitude turns what we have into enough. So, and this is the only one that I have used mostly. This I, I think I have also bought separately. Or maybe this has come with the planner. I don't now remember, but I have used it for many things. So I have used it a lot as a separate cover so that's why I'm showing it and I don't remember what text it had here so if you have this or you can find the information easily what did it say here because I have covered it with and I didn't say any how I have used it would I buy it again this will be so long oh my <laughs> I have covered the original text with black washi and put these stickers there. The original text wasn't so 
inspiring, but I, I don't remember what it said. Okay, let's go a bit back. This I probably wouldn't buy again because I don't use the big happy planner size anymore and if I want to put here papers I need to use expensive leather size paper or then cut some A4 paper so I would survive without this. But this has brought me so much joy along the years and I keep my weight tracker sheets here so I would probably buy this again I, and of course I because I bought this second hand, it was very cheap. This has been good value for the money. And I wouldn't have needed these, but they came in the tree pack, so I can't help that. I have used this, and as I said, I don't remember where this came from, but it's beautiful. It's like, isn't it? It's the same design, so I just, I love these flowers. This is self-made A6 size. This was an Sedon A6 notebook. So this was the front cover, so I, I just love the hearts inside, so I put it like the other way around and made it as an A6 disc bound notebook. And I use this as my tarot notes and I just love it because it's self-made, it's the right size because I made it A6. I just, I love it. I love it. I would make it again. I don't regret buying the notebook because I got a use out of the cover so that's great. Then these are all self-made disc covers, random sizes. This I was cutting a notebook so I was left with these pieces so I made the cover for the pieces so this is a great notebook now to use for random notes at my computer. This is one of my kitchen notes. This is a random size. And you can see it's from the same paper. I just love this paper. It's, I think, a bit like this. So I don't know. I just love flowers like this. Then I have made one of these sizes. It's not in use at this moment. And then I have made this size. Oh, I don't know. I remember what size this is, but that's not either in use now. And then this, this is kind of... It's about personal size, so I have used this setup. This fits in an Chilio Apunto Slim. So I have used discs in the Tobonichi Weeks cover. And I put it in that cover from this pack, pack sheet. It's now not in the right place now because I wanted to show you the covers. I just, I love this paper also. I just love flowers like this. So that was my disc section, I hope. And that was in total 11, if I count it right. Then we go to the folio section and we start with Hobonichi. This is a leather, the only leather cover I have bought from Hobonichi and it's for the A5 journal and I bought it, well, I bought it with the A5 journal in 2017. Was that the year they started this? But this was a mistake, this cover. I, I wouldn't never buy it again. I was so disappointed at it because I think that this cover is too small. It made my book go like this. And they said on the website that it would stretch. No. It didn't stretch. My book bent. And that's the story. It's a lovely cover, but I think it's too small for the A5 notebook it was meant to be. No, not A5, five-year journal. So I'm just, I was so disappointed in it. But it was, I tried to stretch it, but my book... <sighs> Tell me if you have a Hobonichi five-year journal, if your book ended li up like this. But I don't enjoy it and I was so disappointed and it wouldn't be fair to sell it because I don't think it fits the five-year journal. One thing would be if you would have a thicker A6 notebook, but I don't use any thicker A6 notebook, so that's the story of that. But this is my biggest Hobonichi disappointment because it was expensive. This is probably my second Hobonichi 
cover, if I remember correctly. This is the Ochi Chuke cover. I think this was one spring they came out with this and I have loved this always. I just, this has this dark red bookmarks and it says something like stay calm, keep calm. It was something about that. I just love the simpleness of this. I just think it's beautiful. I, I love all the details and I love that it's cotton, it's not plastic and I it's love, it's love. Then I bought this navy blue, this is from the normal colors and <laughs> I love the blue, yes, but if I compare it to my other Hobonichi covers, this is boring, but I have kept here previously some nice postcards and I will put here a postcard or stickers or something. I want to decorate this and this is again like like the vinyl covers, I could make this as beautiful as I want. So I just need to, now that I have it in use, I just need to put here something that I like very much. But I probably wouldn't buy again if I would ha wouldn't have like a certain... I love the color, but otherwise I have so many A6 covers that this is one of my least favorites. Then I bought this, which one was one of my all-time favorite Haponichi covers. I bought it afterwards and when I bought it, it was a bit old and I was disappointed in it. I have made a video about that. Here you can, see, I don't know if you can see, the clue is coming true and I just, somebody said it may have been like stored badly or something, but I just... I don't have anything like that in here and this is my oldest cover but I don't now remember was this released before this but anyways both of them that I bought afterwards had this problem so it's probably f from the storing conditions but otherwise yeah okay I have made the video you if you want you can watch that why I was disappointed in this cover although it is I think so beautiful but it's Again, it's not plastic. I love it. It's beautiful. So, would, but would I buy it again? Let's check my notes. I have these categories. It's a hard yes or probably undecided no or hard no. So this I put in my notes as uh, probably. I was so disappointed in it, so I don't know. But I don't know if I wouldn't have bought it, would ha I have gotten peace with it. I don't know. Would I buy it again? This cover taught me a, a lot about Hobonichi covers. So in that way, maybe it was a valuable experience. Then this, this has the same problem. Ah, oh, it looks so bad. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it, but here, yellowing, yellowing. It just yellowing. It just looks bad. But I bought it because this was again one of those that I was sad that I didn't buy back then. So maybe my learning is now that if there is a cover that I want, I need to buy it. Because if I buy it afterwards somewhere else, it probably has been stored incorrectly and is gone bad. But I do love this. I had the Hobonichi Weeks in this design. I just, for some reason, I just love the design so much. And this is my, oh, I didn't say how I use it. You can see most of the use cases in my full lineup video because these are in use, so I have explained those there. Too much information, I can't be here all day. <laughs> but this is my YouTube notebook because I started my channel in 2020, so this is so appropriate for it. So I've, all, although it's yellowing, I probably would buy it again. Starting my channel was such a big dream come true and this has brought me so much joy. So probably I would buy it again, although I would buy it from Hobonichi. Let's put it that way. These are from my early days. So this is a Finnish brand and I bought these. I think I bought this both used. I don't know, remember it's years ago. Oh, it's going bad. So this, it's breaking. But I wanted to show you because this was my early days. A6 size, this is not real leather, so that's why it's going bad. And 
you can see I put here strings because I wanted to try the A6 Traveler's Notebook and I just, yeah, memories, ah, memories. But these were fr are from my early days and I probably, now that I think of, I paid too much for this used on internet, but I used it back then, so maybe it probably was worth it. This is my A5 folio. Uh, this I'm trying to sell, so uh, no, I wouldn't buy it again. <laughs> it was again from my early days. If I knew back then what I know now, I wouldn't buy it again, because this was a disappointment for me right from the beginning. No, wouldn't buy again. There's nothing wrong with the coverage, just not for me. Then this, I love this. This is an A4 vintage cover. I don't know if this is real leather or faux leather, but I think this is real. At least it hasn't gone bad and it feels good. So this is huge and now everything is black, but I keep my morning pages A4 notebook in here and I love it. Of course, I didn't pay anything for it. My mom was going to recycle it and I was like, oh, I want that, I want that. And now I have it and I use it every morning when I'm at home and write my morning pages and I love it. I don't know how I will survive this video. <laughs> My Gilio Slim Apuntos. The other one is now in the box because I'm trying to sell it. So I bought this one first. This is the anthracite acid green version and this one was more pebbled. I don't know if you can see it. And then this other one is smooth. I wouldn't buy these again, no. So this one is anthracite and I think this was called pink. So this is more like my color. But why I wouldn't buy these again is that I think these are way too big for the Hobonichi Weeks because I just write in my Hobonichi Weeks. I don't stuff it full with stickers and everything. So it stays slim. So if I put a Hobonichi Weeks here, it's like floating around. So I have to put two Hobonichi Weeks in one book and then it's thick and I don't carry my Hobonichi week so I need I don't need these pockets so no I wouldn't buy these oh no I just remembered that I have forgotten totally about one. Oh no I need to get it why isn't it on my list where did I oh no okay the count changes as you can see I just remember or find new covers all the time now it's 56 the count so I like Hobonichi Weeks covers like this. So I made myself this cork cover for it. And I thought this was perfect because it doesn't bring any weight. It doesn't bring any bulk. It's perfect. This was version one and then I made this version two with a pocket. This is with blue stitching. This is with plush pink. How do you call that? I don't have any words now. So I loved <laughs> using these so I would make these again. I wouldn't buy these again. Then let's go here. These are my travel wallets and I will count these two because I can put notebooks and planners in here. This is my oldest. I have never shown this because I haven't used this with any planner but I tested and I could fit a Hobonichi weeks in here. So this would be a pretty nice Hobonichi Weeks cover and very slim line, like I like it. So actually, maybe one year, one day, I could use this as a Hobonichi Weeks cover. It would be nice. It even has a pen loop. So, and it's from a flea market. I didn't pay a lot, so I'm happy about the purchase. Then the second one was this that I found on a flea market. So this is so big that I can fit a regular size TIA notebook in here. And I will go this through more in a video where I will show you my vision TN and this my goals, my HP90 plan. So I will show you this more about this later, but I just, I love this color. No, yeah, I also love this color. I was supposed to say I love this cover, but I also love this color and I just, 
I love it. This was such a good deal. It was so cheap. It was like a tenth of the original price when I had it. was in such a good condition and I, this was such a find. I was so happy. And then because I fell in love with this and I had a gift card to the shop where you can buy these here in Finland, I bought this. This is the passport size from this design and I can fit here two, at least two, I don't know, maybe I could even fit three inserts, but I can fit passport size inserts in here. So I have used this for, oh, I have some notes in here. I will take those notes out so I can read them what's there. <laughs> so this is lovely on the go. So I usually, when I'm traveling, I put my daily journal in here because I just like to keep it more safe with the zipper on the go. And I just, I love these covers. I love them. But this was more expensive, but prices come later. Then we go to Midori, undyed goat leather. And this is a, this is a bit like the internet made me do it. So I don't know if I would buy these again. What did I put in my notes? Yes, the both are a question mark. So I'm, I'm undecided. So I have had previously just a vinyl cover on these notebooks and that was just lovely. And now I don't know. So this is like, I would say that this is like, there is something, this is like extra. This is like unnecessary luxury. I would put it that way. And I, I don't know now in my financial situation if this is necessary. But I have them and I'm still undecided. So I don't know if they will grow on me or if I just worry about the money that I have spent. But it's getting some spots if you can see. This is aging so quickly now that I have it on my shelf. So time will tell if I will like these or I don't know, I'm undecided. I think that was all from the folio section. Then we go to my tea and collection and that was easier so I could put it in a nice small box. This is a Chick Sparrow. Pemberley in the poppy color and this is from 2017 when I started to get excited about tea and covers and I I have put in my notes that I wouldn't buy it again because I bought it in A6 and I have learned that A6 is not my size in tea and covers so I wouldn't buy it again in that size. Now I wish I would have bought it in Passport, but I, I Passport was not in my on my radar back then. But now that I have cut it in Passport size, I, I'm using it now and I'm trying to fall in love with it and try to get it nicely aged and so on. Then I also bought this A6 cover from Cheek Sparrow. This is a creme. Black Beauty, like some of you recognized in my full lineup video, wouldn't buy again because an A6 TN cover with four strings is way too big for me. But I get a use out of it now with my Q&A notebooks. I also kept my Hobonichi A5 journal in this. So it has gotten a use, but it doesn't spark joy in me. I don't know why, but it it doesn't. What sparks joy in me is this tiny, mm, tiny <laughs> cuteness. This is so, I just, ah. Uh, I remember watching videos, everybody want, wanted these small TNs to use as a wallet and I was like, okay, I want to use that too as my wallet and I bought this Chick Sparrow. This is from the Tea House collection, Earl Grey. I thought that that's perfect because I, I love tea, I love Earl Grey and when I got it, this was one of those, it was so delicate, it was so getting marks and I just 
I couldn't use it back then. I was so scared to mark it up. But now you can see a nice patina. And well, I tried to use it as a wallet. I even bought one of those wallet inserts, which I have sold already previously when I was selling things. So the wallet, wallet didn't work for me, but now it houses my mini rings insert, so I get a use out of it. Always when I haven't used this, this has been somewhere on the shelf because I just find this so beautiful. So I can at least enjoy it just watching it. Then I found AliExpress and Moterm and all the other brands that's there. And I bought a bunch of Hasport TNs. I have made a video about those in 2020 and luckily I have sold all but one of those TNs that I bought back then. So the one that's left is this blue one. This is more like a velvety kind of leather. So also very delicate, but I just, this color is just beautiful. It has these pockets. I don't know what has happened there, probably some water damage. So pockets for your cards and secretarial pocket. And I just, I love the color. And this is the one that I didn't sell from my collection back then. And I probably will keep this as a memory. It has a gaming notebook now inside. So it's not in active use, but I think this is beautiful. So it was worth the money. Yeah, about buying again. Mm, uh, no, I wouldn't. I went a bit crazy back then. But probably we all went a bit crazy in 2020. Oh no, I can't blame that. I bought those before 2020. I went a bit crazy because they were so affordable. Yeah, I blame that. And I know, I know, I, who can I blame on YouTube? Who showed first? where I saw those AliExpress TNs. I, I remember, I remember. But it's okay now because I have sold them. So it's, I have peace with that. I have one left as a memory from those days when I went crazy. Then I think this I bought in 2020. So this was such a mistake and I have made a video about it and I haven't dared to watch that video because I don't know what I was talking about it but I bought this from a local bookstore and this was what was what I was irritated about so it says here 11 times 21 I want to measure it now again so the cover is 20 centimeters times 12. So this notebook is about 19 times 10. And I bought it because I thought that this is regular TN size. I hadn't, I hadn't an experience about the regular TN size in real life. So I didn't see that it's not the right size and I was counting on this but then I got home and was like this is the wrong size so yeah that's what the video was <laughs> about so I this is just a plastic cover and I was just so disappointed that it's not the real size because I wanted to get the experience of the real size. This is these are pretty nice these notebooks. These are three different kinds, but because the size is wrong, I just I just was angry. I was angry. Maybe someday I I get over my anger and can use these, but this was just a mistake. And I have kept this all these years and are, um, are still angry. <laughs> Wouldn't buy again. Then the cover that I forgot, uh, wrong pouch, but here is an Gilio Giramondo. This is the size S. I remember I wanted the X. S size which is for passport but they didn't have that in colors that I like so I took this S size which is the pocket size because I can also put passport size notebooks in here and these are not the original elastics 
it came with black, but oh, I don't like black elastic, so I, I thought this looks so much better with these smell test. A bit of a, a funky, funky leathery smell. I don't know, it's not so pleasant. So I'm surprised by that. <laughs> this was expensive. Uh, luckily, I don't remember how much I paid for it. Yes, and I don't have any notes because I... Maybe that's telling that I forgot about this cover. I don't understand how, but I didn't remember this cover and I didn't even remember it when I was going through my TN box. So I, I don't know how I just... I have tried to sell it because it's expensive and I don't know. But now I'm again like, okay, maybe I just keep it because it's not so easy to find pocket size TNs. So, and I have had some happy times in this because I, I could put here the Hobonichi Weekly, which I love. And then I had a field note notebook as my calendar and then I here I put some passport size inserts so I have ha had some happy happy setups in this notebook so probably I just will keep it for days that I want to do have a pocket size TN again but that's a tough one if I would buy it again because I have used it but if I would find an other brand with a pocket TN this size, I probably would prefer that over this. This was expensive. Then we get to the Traveler's Company section. Let's start with this one because this is my love from the Traveler's Company. This was expensive, but and I don't know if it was worth the money because I only use the cover. I don't, I don't appreciate the pen that I got. I don't have, I haven't used the stickers that I got. I don't use the charms that I got. So the only thing, and I haven't used the notebook. So the only thing that I use from that box is this cover, which is getting marks. So, but I just, but I love it. Again, it's beautiful, it's a beautiful blue cover and this house is my vision book which I will show you later in another video. Although this was expensive, maybe it was worth it because now I have a place for my vision and I just, this makes me happy. I have it standing on a counter there so I just, I, I love to see it. Then I bought this one next because I love this so much. I bought the passport size blue Traveler's Company, but this is totally different color. So I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it, but the color is so different. This is more greenish and this is more like, this is darker and it's different. So this is like a cold color for me and yeah, I made a video about the unboxing. I was so disappointed in this and you can even see that the pen loop, I don't know if you can, but the pen loop, which is also Traveler's Company, is completely different color. I got the experience, but probably wouldn't buy again. No, I, w I was so disappointed. Then they came out with a new color, this olive. Well, they had it before, but then they put it in the regular lineup and I bought this olive edition. I was excited about it at the beginning because it was a more pleasant experience than this because probably because this was, I assume this had been standing in storage and this was brand new because they had just come out with this so it, it couldn't have been standing in a storage for years. And maybe it was because I was using the gold colored was it gold champagne or what was the name hobonichi weeks in here and those just looked so beautiful together but i don't think that this is my color so you can see the difference i love this i don't enjoy this so much so this is just not my color and 
I, I'm just now trying to let go of everything that's not, not what I like and love and would consider using and getting a joy out of it. So I'm trying to sell it. That's why it's in the pouch. Then another... This is also here in a box because I'm trying to sell it. I don't know. This was also a disappointment. And I have probably made an unboxing video of this too. So I, I, I don't know. These have just been a disappointment. I don't enjoy the color. I did an unboxing. I was confused about the color and how it feels and I just I'm trying to sell it it's not for me no I don't no I don't enjoy it let's put it away let's put it away this I love I will keep this forever and then I sold one of my cheek sparrow I hope I will find a picture to add here I, it was a classic maverick golden brown in passport size but I didn't enjoy the leather, I didn't get a look I was asking for, so it was a disappointment from the start and I kept it for five years, although I didn't like it. I put the price low enough so I managed to get rid of it. Now we go to the rings and <laughs> I want to show this one. This is so cute, I have had it since so long that I can't remember from my childhood and it has only four rings but these are situated like that that I can put pocket ring inserts in here and I had to tape it because it was breaking down and but it's just overly cute and I love it. Then another pocket rings. This I, I have found from a flea market I would say nine eight years ago and this was my first pocket rings binder but I didn't end up it's breaking down. I didn't end up using it back then but I have used this for some financial things and it wasn't expensive so I think I would buy it again from the flea market because it was my first experience with pocket rings and with a ring binder so well no I had a ring binder I think in school but as an adult this was my first one then I bought an premium ring binder this is the Smithson pocket uh, they call it the I, I don't understand this bag because as you can see it's very tight so it's like yeah it's it's oh, I can it like it's getting smaller here I don't know if that's a mistake but it's very hard to get this out and in so they call this the bijou organizer so Bijou is the size they call this pocket size. I wanted to try a premium leather cover and with the knowledge that I have now I probably wouldn't buy it again. This was a gamble with the color because it was called I think it was called lime yellow and it's it's always so tricky to see from the screen what the color will be in real life so this was more yellow that i wanted or maybe it was more green that i wanted it's there between so i, I don't enjoy this color and the pen was a bit disappointment also it's just i don't know why these premium planners always come with pens so it has very thick lead here so I don't know they sell it of course for a premium price but I don't know who uses a pen like this but this pen loop is so small so you can't fit anything else in here because this is this is tiny I can I have a muchi pen here so this is like a normal size so you can see how tiny this Smithson pen is. Wouldn't buy again. No, let's put it there. What did I put in my notes? Yeah, hard no. Spent too much money. Although this was on sale, so I got it uh, with a good price, but no. No, I wouldn't buy it again. 
it was a hassle. My unboxing was three parts long because I was so disappointed in it. Ah, oh, memories. Let's put it in the too small. And I spent too much money on that order, so no, that was a mistake. Then, oh, memories. I found, I found this in a store here in Finland. I was just walking in a store and then I saw it said Filofax. And I went crazy because they are not selling Filofax anywhere here in Finland so that you could walk in a store and buy a Filofax. And they had this and it was on sale and the price was crazy cheap and I was ecstatic. I was ecstatic because I had never had an experience with Filofax and I was like, what? I bought this one and then I went back and bought a second one because they were so cheap and you got all the inserts and the what's here between and it was, oh, I was so ecstatic. But of course, this is the Metropole faux leather. Well, it has two pen loops, so it's a nice design. And uh, I was just so happy back then. I remember, I have made a video about it. I will show what's happened to the other one. <laughs> this is the other <laughs> Filofax Metropole. So I wanted to see what's inside. Now you can also see what's inside of this planner. Cardboard, there is some metal part here and then this is the inside. So I was planning of making this an um, cork cover, but I probably ran out of time and inspiration because this was tough to take apart. But I will show you later the cork cover that I have made so you understand why I was trying to do it. But yeah. This is my other metropole. It's not so pretty now, but maybe one day it will be pretty again. Then I went again crazy because an other store started selling personal size ring binders. This was crazy cheap. Also have made a video about it. You got also all the in you actually you got two years worth of inserts in this. And I was so happy for a while in this personal rings. I was so happy. I had such a nice setup. This is again very cheap cardboard and faux leather. But it was like, was it five euros, six euros, max six? I don't know. Maybe it was even just five, but crazy cheap. And I bought, of course, I was so happy about the first one, so I bought more. The second year they came out with these, and the second year, this is I, this is actually the one that I bought first, because I don't know, they always, when they come back with the products, they are lesser in quality, they go bad. The first time they sell something, it's okay, and then all the rest is Verse. So this is the one that I bought. This feels nice. This feels... This is okay. This feels so plasticky. And the second year I bought three. I bought different colors. I had a yellow and a brown, but those were so yuck. I have just given them away, so I don't have them anymore. But I got the inserts and I have used those. And I have now these still left. So the first one, this, the, I, I don't, I can't like explain, but this just feels so much better, although it's faux leather, than this second version. So this just feels so much cheaper, so then I fell out of love of these. And, but this, I love this. This was so lightweight and I, I had a nice setup in it and I just, I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. Oh. Memories, memories. Then, because I was excited about the Filofax, I made an order from the Filofax website and I ordered this mini Safiano. I would have bought all the personal rings again because they were so cheap and they brought me joy at that time. This, I don't know, well, I have used it, but now I'm a bit sad that the rings broke and it 
wasn't so cheap. So I think that there are better options now. I don't know, but this is a very slim line. So would I buy it again? Hmm. Well, I have used it, so maybe I would buy it again. I'm just a bit sad now that the rings broke, but this was my first experience with mini rings. Then this was my second mini rings. This is a Filofax original <sighs> in the category very, very, very too expensive. <laughs> this is a Japan edition. Was it called Stone? Yeah. It's it's beautiful, but it's just for the price, it's not worth the price in my opinion. You can see probably the stitching is like all over the place and it's not nicely made. It's it looks very poorly made. And I don't know about the quality of the leather because I haven't used this so long and yes it has these gold rings. And these rings are made a bit differently than the Safiano rings so I will hope that these will last better. But not for the price I wouldn't buy it again. I just I went a bit crazy there. Then I bought this Filofax Original A5 and this I probably would buy again because I got it pretty cheap. I think I paid for this like four times more, or at least three times. Over three times than what I paid for this, so that's a bit crazy in my opinion. But yeah, this was used, but it's... it's would I buy it again? Hmm. This is a bit like this black shiny leather. This is somehow like a bit sticky. It's it's a sticky leather. I don't and it gets like fingerprints and I don't know, maybe I should like treat it with something, but I don't enjoy the stickiness of this leather. So would I buy it again? Mm, I would wish that I have it this in a matte leather like this. But I, I don't, luckily, <laughs> I don't use it. I use this only like once a quarter. I have my HP90 notes in here. So I think it was, for the price, it was okay. What did I put in my notes? Yeah, I put in my notes that probably would buy again. I'm a bit undecided there. But I'm lucky that I didn't buy it with the full price. That would have been a disappointment. We have seven left. I will survive. Oh, this is my, <laughs> this is my, my cherished uh, Moterm full grain Vegeta Platand Pocket Lux 2.0 A7 in the plum color. I love this color. It's just, look at it. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I hope you can see the beautifulness of it. I just, oh, it's beautiful. I have put some black washi on the label. I, I don't like that. I would, I need to cut it away, but I just, I love it. I love it. And if you saw my previous video, you saw that I bought a second one. I'm filming this the day after I unboxed this, but you can see that I have put my setup in this cover. I would buy this again in a heartbeat. This, it's a different color than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be a bit more on the pink side. This is more on the orange side, and that's not my... Yeah, it's always when those expectations are not met. I was expecting it to be more on the pink side, like my shirt. I was expecting it to be more like this. It's called grapefruit. It's lovely. It's so lovely. I'm just... I'm now still processing the color. And I promised myself that I, if I don't like it, I will sell it immediately. 
but look at it. I just love this pocket that's different color. I don't know. I just I'm I'm giving it a chance. I'm giving it a chance. I I I I need to get over my expectations for the color and I need to take it in as it is. Would I buy it again? Undecided. I I can't. I don't know. I just I need more time. I need more time. But I'm I'm happy that I have a lighter color and I think this will like age nicely. But this this is still my number one. I love this color so much. It's too new. I have had it like less than 24 hours, so I, I can't say anything about it, but this is my mold term pocket luxe collection now. Then still one to go in the let's put this here. I'm just running out of space. One to go in the rings section. BDS, touch me, standard, so in the personal rings size. I have now 30 millimeter gold rings inside and I just found my happiness in the pocket rings. Please forgive me. <laughs> I'm a bit tempted that I would try the VDS touch me line in the pocket size, how they call it, the junior size. So maybe, maybe I will try that one day. You will see in this video everything that I have remembered that I own and also that I have found. So this is now the random section and yeah, you will see why it's random. So this is an A6 two-ring binder and I have found this on a flea market and it's A6 size. Now I don't have anything inside. As you can see it's in very good condition and I have sometimes just kept something A6 size in here. So I have just kept it in case if I need it. Then this was a notebook. So just with plain white paper or it was more like cream colored. This is like soft to touch and I just love this cover so much. That's the reason why I bought the notebook. It says inspiring notes but the paper was so bad I couldn't. I just couldn't. The paper was no. So I took the <laughs> notebook out and put personal, these are mold term personal rings. I put them here. So this became like a backup or like archival binder for my personal rings inserts. And of course I put this paper here and now it's a lovely personal rings binder and I love it now. <laughs> These are just fun, these kind of projects, I think. Making something that you love but hate, making it work. Then, this is the one we were waiting for. So this has been an, or it still is an A5 touring binder, but it was made out of faux leather and it was so old, I think it was about 10 years old, it was falling into pieces. I couldn't, it, you couldn't touch it anymore. It was just these pieces floating around. So I took the faux leather off and put this cork here and stitched it. So this is what I was planning to do with my Filofax personal rings. And I think it would have been very nice. It's still in my projects pile. But I just, I I love this. So I have some, again, some older HP 90 notes in here. So I'm using this and I just, it's always when you have done something or yourself, it gives it so much more. I just, it was a lot of work, but it's a lovely binder. You can't find it such a nice A5 binder anywhere in my opinion. Then this I bought, this was an, this, he sold this as an A5 Bujo and 
they didn't give so much information and I was disappointed when, because when I bought it and opened it at home, it had rings that weren't anything like standard. I couldn't punch it with a six hole punch, I couldn't punch it with a normal punch, so it, I would have been forced to punch with a single hole punch and I was just like, uh, no. And again, the paper inside was bad quality. So I think I had here at some point personal size rings. But now I'm thinking that if I want to still keep this, I would buy here A5 rings bigger than this, like 30 millimeter, and use this as an archive for notes that come from this, because this is pretty full already, so I could put here the older notes. I just need to buy A5 rings. I think these are A5 rings, but these are very tiny, because I was thinking of buying the plotter, so that's why I bought these tiny rings. So I could put these here now and start, and when these are full, I could get the bigger rings, but 30 millimeter will fit here nicely. Dreams and thoughts. Of course I bought it because it's so pretty. Believe it or not, that was all. That was 56 covers plus the vinyl covers that I showed you at the beginning. It's done. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And I will make the video where I put these in the order of price, but that probably won't be right away. <laughs> I need to recover from this video <laughs> because I still need to edit it. Oh my. <laughs> if you dare and have the time, please count how many covers you have and comment down below. I would love to hear your counts. Mine was 56. This was crazy because I would have never guessed that I have 56. And the amount would be so much bigger if I wouldn't have never sold or given away covers. So that's a lot. That's a lot of covers. If you are not giving me the count of how many books you have, please put a book emoji in the comments so that I know you watched the whole video too. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. I hope to see you down below in the comments and in my next video. Bye bye. We are still in the folio category. Where are my folios? This is so much. I just... Oh. Okay. I just need to continue quickly.